We are Skulk and Matt, and we're on a mission to save and rebuild the Norman R. Wright, a Moreton Bay classic timber cruiser. The boat was built in 1948 by Norman Wright and Sons and carried the name of Norman Wright, who was one of the true doyens of the Australian wooden boat building industry. He's arguably the greatest mentor of classic wooden boat builders in our history. Captain Wally Mueller, labelled the modern day Captain Cook, owned the Norman R. Wright in the late 60s. He was a professional fisherman who worked the Swains reefs in the days when it was uncharted, vast and treacherous. In 1967 he was contracted by the Belgian Navy to guide the Demur through the Swains reefs on a scientific filming expedition and remain with them as a support ship for the entire duration. Among the crew of 75 and guests were Australian greats Ron and Valerie Taylor who were filming in 35mm motion picture film for seven months. Ron and Valerie Taylor opened their eyes to the wonders of the ocean. They became champion spearfishers, but switched from killing sharks to filming them after becoming fascinated with marine life. They were credited with being pioneers in several areas. The first people to film great white sharks without the protection of a cage, and they invented the chainmail suit which Valerie tested because it was too small for Ron. To this day, Valerie still dives and remains an active conservationist. There are surely many more incredible stories and adventures like these that are connected to this boat, and we are certain that we've merely scratched the surface, which is why we remain passionate that this boat has to be saved. The day we picked up the Norman R. Wright, we knew the next adventure was about to begin but we had no idea of the scale and magnitude of the liability we just bought. As a sensible precaution, we found a pontoon in the Breakfast Creek, where if it came to the worst, we'd be able to refloat it. We never actually expected that to happen, but it did, and we found ourselves racing against the clock to get a salvage mission underway. Rightly so, this event made a lot of people very angry, as it happens all too often, and unfortunately ends up as an environmental disaster and ultimately wrecked and abandoned. There are hundreds littering our shores and Marine Services Queensland have vowed to take tough action. We were determined not to give up and it took far quicker to deplete our savings accounts than it would to rebuild the bridges with a passionate community of enthusiasts that were up in arms. We have come a long way but there's a lot more ahead of us and we are now seeking the support of this passionate community to continue the mission. Our expectation is by no means to have this beautiful boat restored from the funds of our supporters, but we can hopefully progress to the next stage of the journey and continue to bring these progress videos and interesting stories of the myriad of lives touched by this boat. We have much bigger plans for an entire fleet of heritage vessels to one day again operate on our beautiful Brisbane River and beyond to Moreton Bay and the Great Barrier Reef which will give this new world city a heart and a soul that will benefit all who love to work, live and play on the river's edge. However, whilst we continue to garner support from government, council, developers and corporate sponsors, our attention must turn to the clock of the Norman R. Wright that is fast running out. It would be greatly appreciated if you would consider becoming a Patreon and spread the word far and wide for others to join in and do the same. We hope to bring another update to you real soon. Thank you.